Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to show you a filament table that doesn't look like a table. So see on the right hand side, this is, believe it or not, a filament table. Just with layout as a grid. So how to implement that? This is an example from our filament examples LMS project and I will link that in the description below. But the main part of it is in a function called table. So yeah, it is a table within the course resource and we have schema of columns. So image, title and description. And the main thing how to make it that vertical with the grid is these lines of code. So you make a grid with one column and with schema. Imagine if we comment that out and this part. So we have just the columns, we refresh and we have the same old filament table with image, title and description. So yes, yeah, pretty typical in filament to solve some problem with a few lines of code or one method, but pretty rarely I see a few lines of code changing the layout so drastically. So I wanted to showcase you that. And also you may specify content grid for different breakpoints in CSS and you can still use good old table methods like pagination or sorting or modifying the query. There's actually a whole section about layout in table builder in the filament docs. And if you do want to experiment with table layouts, I do recommend you to read it. But keep in mind that if you try to construct something like this, so more complex structures with stacking and with splitting, so split component exists, and also there's grid. Keep in mind that you lose some of the functionality of the table. So there won't be any sorting by columns and stuff like that. So keep that in mind, but generally filament has a lot of possibilities to make your table look not exactly like a table or not exactly like the standard table we are used to see. That's it, a quick tip for this time. If you want more tips, subscribe to the channel to get daily videos and see you guys in those other videos.